Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Lesson 7 of our uh, Full Stack Mern course. Today what we're going to be doing is adding notifications and uh, a tab in our front end for users to get notifications when someone either comments on their posts, likes their posts, or uh, follows them. So as you can see, the first thing we've done here in our user schema is add an array of notifications. And then inside of our post controller, we added user notifications push you have a new comment on when someone uh, adds a comment. And then we have the same thing here for when someone likes their post, adds uh, notifications, or it adds a notification to the notifications array. And it's the same with uh, right here, other user notifications push, you have a new follower. So uh, we're going to see now how to work with this in our front end. So our front end is basically going to call this endpoint called pop notifications, which is in our user routes as slash notifications. And since what we want to have happen is when the user views their notifications, we want the notifications to basically disappear because once they're notified, they don't need the notifications anymore. So the way that we're doing this is that we're going to take the user ID from the request body. We're going to get their ID then we're going to set their notifications to a blank array and we're going to return the original notifications. So we can see inside of our nav bar that our use effect is basically uh, getting the user and setting the uh, user equal to the response uh, concurrently. Like whenever, whenever a new page is loaded, the user is updated. We can see down here that we have link to slash notifications and then uh, notifications and then we have with that the user notifications length. So basically what this is going to do is serve as, as a message telling the user basically how many notifications that they actually have. And then when they click on notifications we call the endpoint based on their ID and as we remember when, once we call this endpoint it returns the notifications and then deletes them. So once we render them onto the page they're basically gone from the database. So before we test this, what we're going to do is just call a quick code 99 to delete all of the users since we uh, changed up how the models are working. And then uh, once we do that, we're basically just going to sign up two new users. All right, so as we've been doing first user, user one, user one, once we do that, we're going to sign up another user, user two, user two. And then if we go back in Postman and we get all of our users, we can see user1 and user2. So now we're just going to log in as user1 and make a post. User1, new post. This is post1. Hello, user2. And we're going to submit that post. And if we go back into Postman, we get our post. We can see the post by user1. This is post1. Hello, user2. All right, so now what we're going to do is the first demonstration. We're going to go to our follow endpoint. We're going to take user two's ID. He is going to follow the other user ID, which is user one's ID. We're going to see notifications get appended up one. And we can see notifications is now one. And now let's try that with liking the post. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to get the post ID here. We're going to do posts like and we're going to do user ID or post ID rather post ID is going to paste what we just got and uh, user ID I believe this is user uh, two's ID it's going to like this post let's see and then we're going to paste this in here we can see now we have another notification and when we click on the notifications we get you have a new follower user 2 you have a new like on post this is post 1 and if we go back home we can see that the like is now displayed properly and so that's basically how we do notifications in a really uh, concise way and uh, stay tuned for the next video where we're going to be doing a profile picture and MongoDB uh, image hosting